Hello and welcome. We all talk about empathy. We all know the true meaning of it. I don't know, but for sure that one word which actually helps us to understand others and everyone in case if we know it and apply it just to make better relationship. It is very important not only in personal but professional life as well. So, how to be empathetic in the workplace? Let's take a closer look. Empathy is an important skill that will serve you well in many areas of your life. When you are empathetic towards those you work with, you may find that your performance enjoys a significant boost. Strive to improve your empathy and you may notice a big difference in your interactions and overall job success the following tips that we are going to lay down for you all can definitely help you to improve your empathy in professional situations what is empathy empathy is one's ability to understand someone else's emotions and state of mind when you are exhibiting empathy you are not actually sharing the emotion or experience but you are imagining what it would be like to experience the same situation as though you are the other person when you experience empathy you may sense some of the same feelings as the person you are being empathetic towards if your coworker recently experienced a loss you might feel sadness for their situation You aren't experiencing the level of grief that they are but you are able to imagine what that grief would feel like and respond in a way that's sensitive to what they may be experiencing Some people used to consider empathy as a character trait more than a teachable skill while it's true that some people have a natural tendency towards exhibiting empathy This doesn't mean that others can't acquire the skill. Empathy is closely related to emotional intelligence. The more you understand another person's emotions, the better you can respond to them. Empathy helps you build a rapport with those around you and can strengthen relationships in all aspects of your life. Though it may not always come naturally to you, empathy is something you can learn the importance of empathy in the workplace empathy can help you connect with coworkers in your workplace using empathy encourages you to focus on key aspects of these individuals journeys which will inform you of the best way to relate to them maintaining positive working relationships with coworkers and clients is an essential key to success in many industries your workplace manner can have a major impact on your employability and success the ability to empathize with callers can help you excel in customer service or sales improving your social skills will help you improve in nearly any job showing that you are an empathetic individual can give you an advantage in a job interview as well when asked how you might handle a conflict with another employee begin by explaining that you would consider that individual's point of view if you are asked how your personality fits into the team mention that you strive to be empathetic towards others and facilitate positive conversations that keeps others viewpoints in mind this is a desirable skill that many employers look for among potential employees you can highlight your empathetic abilities on your resume by mentioning it with some of your previous job responsibilities for example you might empathize with callers to help them achieve a satisfying outcome that resolves their problem and boosts loyalty a teacher will strive to empathize with students when helping them develop homework habits that fit their individual lifestyles 
HR professionals empathize with employees as they are assisting them in finding employee programs that will better their lifestyles. How to be empathetic in workplace? Here are some ways to show empathy in the workplace. Approach problems from another's viewpoint. Number two, ask questions to learn more about the other person's point of view. Number three, validate others' perspectives from the beginning of the conversation. Number four, ask questions about the circumstances. Number fifth, determine the preferred resolution. Sixth, develop your listening skills in daily interactions. Seven, offer to help others. Eight, challenge your biases. Number one, approach problems from another's viewpoint. Imagine that you're starting from your team member's perspective. Even if you don't reach the same conclusion that they did, you will have a better understanding of their thought processes which can inform your future discussions. Number two, ask questions to learn more about the other person's point of view. Ask what experiences have led to a particular conclusion. Consider the outlying factors that caused the person to make the decision that they did. If you don't understand the situation, keep asking questions until you do. Empathy comes with a deeper understanding of what has happened. Number three, validate others' perspectives from the beginning of the conversation. If you are working with an unsatisfied customer, tell them you know it is a frustrating experience. Acknowledge their feelings and let them know that this is an appropriate way to feel even if you can't fully empathize with them yet. Fourth, ask questions about the circumstances. Inquire about issues surrounding the problem so you can better understand your customer or co-worker's perspective. If you are speaking with a buyer who is unhappy with the product, Ask about their expectations before receiving the product and their experience using it. This will help you understand the shopper's entire journey so you can better empathize with how they currently feel. Fifth, determine the preferred resolution. This is particularly useful in customer service. Would the customer prefer a new product or a refund? Is the ultimate goal to get the software to work or to find a different product entirely? You can empathize better when you can see the individual's goal and understand what they are working towards. 6. Develop your listening skills in daily interactions. When a co-worker discusses an experience that you are not familiar with, ask how that made them feel. Check in again after a few days and see how they are doing. Though you may not have this experience yourself, your understanding of what your co-worker experiences will help you have greater empathy for others who find themselves facing similar situations in the future. 7. Offer to help others. Ask them what they need and provide assistance where you can understand where you can. Understanding what others need in a difficult situation is one way that you can understand that challenge better. 8. Challenge your biases. It's natural to gravitate towards people similar to you, but you will learn more when you begin conversations with people you wouldn't ordinarily communicate with. You can talk to co-workers you normally don't communicate with or form stronger connections with regular customers to learn more about them. I'm sure that 
empathy empathetic feeling empathetic emotions are not just mere concepts they are there to acquire a skills and skills something that comes very handy for you to maybe engage in to get indulge in to deploy or maybe to park at several places in personal and professional lives now when it comes to personal lives if we spend more time to empathize our own relationship people who are within that frame or within that house or within that family but when it comes to working and understanding in a typical corporate environment empathy needs to be practiced it will only come when you acquire it and spend enough time in understanding it's all about understanding understanding and understanding of emotions people's their traits characteristics predisposition if you are able to understand i'm very sure that a time will come that you are able to master it and it needs time for sure so laid down with all these principles of being empathetic in nature try and build one it is going to take time because it's one good habit hope you have learned it best wishes and thank you